arrived a little more than a year ago, the main worries on the fund's radar were China's rebalancing process, the struggles of commodity exporters, and the Fed's first liftoff of interest rates. Now, 13 months later, the worries are China's rebalancing, the struggles of commodity exporters, and the Fed's second liftoff in interest rates. Our current growth forecast for 3.1% growth in 2016 and 3.4% global growth in 2017 are below what they were back in the fall of 2015. They're below what they were even in April of 2016. The WIO focuses on uh, two issues which we feel are symptomatic of the slow growth in the world economy, of low demand in the world economy. One is the uh, trade slowdown, the uh, slowdown in the growth of trade relative to GDP. The other is uh, deflationary pressures. One thing that is really new is on the, uh, the political front where conditions have definitely moved to the downside. The Brexit vote is an obvious uh, development that we didn't expect a year ago. Uh, it's created a lot of uncertainty about the ultimate shape of trading relationships between the United Kingdom and the EU27, and that uncertainty will probably weigh on growth. But beyond that, there's a continuation and intensification of some negative political developments. Globally, we see um, not only in Europe, but in uh, the US particularly, more of a backlash against globalization, which uh, holds out the very negative prospect that we may not only see uh, a failure to reignite trade growth, but actually an increase uh, in protectionist measures over the coming years. If there's an upside in all this, it's the possibility that uh, the persistence of low growth will actually spur policymakers to take what we would think of as comprehensive, consistent, and uh, coordinated actions to uh, combat a further marked slowdown in global growth.